Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. It's almost seven o'clock. You have time. Listen, if you are tuning in, go ahead. And in the comment section, let me know, number one, if you can hear me. So put a one in the comment section if you can hear me. And also go ahead and put where you are tuning in from. I have the honor and privilege to do another amazing interview on this Talk Thursday. So you guys come on in, like it, share it, share it, tag a few people. And we are going to get started in just a few minutes. Let me go ahead and tag some people on my end. Go ahead. So and, um, right I thought, go ahead. I thought we were friends on Facebook, but okay. I was hold on. Let me change it to. I'm gonna change. It to and, um, confirm me. Ba, ba, ba. All right. If you can see it. Now. Oh, I see it. Okay, yep. You good. All right, you guys, come on in. We are going to get started. So it is seven o'clock again. If you are tuning in, put in the comments where you are tuning in from. If you catch this later on the replay, put hashtag replay. Let us know again, tag some folks because we are gonna be talking to none other than Director Hawa Saipov. I am super, super excited, you guys. Let me tell you, this business is all about relationships. And I love it because you get to meet so many amazing people. And when I met this beautiful soul, listen, we clicked instantly. She is such just as big as that smile is. She is like that all the time. She's always on 100, which, yeah. I, abso which I absolutely love. Okay, so again, I am going to move myself out of the way because I want to know who is who I want her. She is on my platform. Let me tell you that she is a director, though. She's a director in this business. Um, she, she's just an amazing person. She's also not just a director. I like to say she got two jackets, y'all, because she is not only a director, she has that prestigious blue jacket that are given to all of the directors and planning marketing, but she also wears that red jacket. And if you don't know what that red jacket is, it means that she is an ambassador within Teletravel, which means she know a hundred percent of the facts. And I tell you, she's making money on both sides of the business okay both planet and marketing and with intel travel brand and her business and she's doing amazing things so listen hawaii i appreciate you for coming in on my platform and i'm just gonna ask you a few questions and we're just gonna start talking okay so i want the listeners to know who is hawaii tell us who you are where you're from what your background is who are you girl <laughs> she said so much about me guys so first of all i want to say thank you sincerely for asking me to to show up on your platform to be able to speak about the opportunity and uh, to grow in our friendship even through social media on facebook so thank you everyone for being on but i want to make sure that i let you guys all know who shay is uh this is three-star director shay simon i met her uh from just going through different events. I've fallen in love with her and her husband to know them and, and just laughing through the things. But what I respected most about them is they're so humble. They're part of the 8080 Club. Three-star director just means that she has helped over 500 families worldwide. There's really 1,700 active agents worldwide. So that's a big, big, big deal. Um, she's a six-figure income earner. Uh, that means that she's earning over $8,333 per month by helping other people to be travel business owners like myself, like herself, and everyone on her team. I am beyond ecstatic to be here with you and to be able to share in the same space as you because, you know, when you're around winners, you also become a winner. So thank you so much for having me here today, Director Shay Simon. Oh, you are welcome, Hawa. I know, I said a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go through all of it, but um, thank you for having me. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to jump in because you asked me, um, share with your audience who I am. Well, uh, my name is Hawa. It's spelled H-O-A, like Homeowners Association, but <laughs> the W-N, Hawa, uh, like Hawaii without the E. But I'm Vietnamese. Uh, my family immigrated to America 
when I was very young. I left Vietnam when I was around six, seven years old. And we left Vietnam on a boat, not knowing, uh, leaving our country at that time after the Vietnam War, it was very, very uh, tough. Opportunities were not available for anyone in Vietnam. So my family sought, you know, after the American dream and uh, people were leaving Vietnam to, were fleeing Vietnam to come to America. So I was one of the fortunate ones to, to be able to leave my home country, stay in a refugee camp for a few years with my father. I came to the U.S. at the age of nine. Uh, and I actually grew up in America, came over here, don't know the language. Uh, you know, I went to school and I went through, you know, the school system and I did really, really well because I think it came from how hard we have to work to come to America. But anyway, fast forward, I got reunited with my mom and my younger brother and sister when I was 15. Uh, yes, uh, and we've always lived in Columbia, South Carolina. And I went to college, did all the right things. But of course, I always felt uh, a sense of loyalty to my family because of sacrifices. So I got a nail license and then I got an aesthetic license. So I have been working as a nail technician for my family salon for over 22 years. And right, a very long time. Uh, so I have always been trading time for money. And I got into this opportunity five years ago when my girlfriend started this business a, pr a month prior to me. I didn't have to know a lot. I just knew that she did it. I trusted her and I have always loved travel. So travel just made complete sense. I didn't do the research. I was that person that said yes within the first 20 minutes. <laughs> I wanted to know what is the cost because mm -hmm. I think in life there's a price and I am no stranger to paying for my college degree, for my nail license, for my aesthetic license. So I knew it would come with a price tag. And when I saw the cost of the business five years ago, um, I said, yes, I said, yes. And because of the opportunity, I've been able to take my family on more family trips because that was always my vision. How can I afford more travel with my family? We always traveled and I was traveling broke, Director Simon. Mm -hmm. I know <laughs> and, how that is. <laughs> yes, right? Uh, and I, I always found a way, but when this opportunity was presented to me, I said, what? I get to travel and I get to come back to a paycheck. And I knew that when I travel, I never traveled alone. I always had friends, family, you know, coming with me. I'm that kind of person. Like you said, I'm always on 10, a hundred. <laughs> I, I love to see people happy during my mm. travels, I like to meet people. And so it, it it was very simple when I started and when I said yes. And I thank God every single day that my girlfriend did not keep it a secret and invited me to her home. Mm -hmm. Because of that, uh, five years later, I no longer work like a dog <laughs> at the salon because you know, I don't know, you know, your hair care industry any cosmetologist that's on the line, if you want to leave some comments, like how hard do you work, you know, in cosmetology as a beautician? I worked nine in the morning, sometime till eight, nine, 10 at night. If my clients had a funeral, if they had a wedding, if they had something special, they're like, wow, can you stay longer for me? Can you do this for me? And guess what I did back then? I always said yes. And, um, but I never felt like I was rich. I say, why, how can I work this hard and not be wealthy? Mm -hmm. And something was missing in my life. And mm -hmm. I literally, prior to starting my travel business, was praying and hoping for something. I didn't know if that was an opportunity. I knew that just being a nail technician for the rest of my life, making just enough money to get by, and I don't make money until I show up, was mm -hmm. something that I just... I knew there had to be more mm -hmm. and um, 
and really that's really it about me how i just started jumped in and when i realized that there were eight streams of income that i can eventually retire my business when i want to and make six figures like you director shay and one day be able to be the first millionaire in my family mm -hmm. i envisioned it for myself and my family and that's the reason why i am where i'm at today because of being surrounded by people like you right thank you so much and and all of that of what you said and it just makes sense and what a couple of things that you said a couple of key points because you actually hit a couple of the answers to some questions that i had all in between that um however one of the things that you talked about was what you had to deal with and come in and come here and making it easy and how this was a no-brainer right a lot of people take time to think they need to do research right just talking about our business just the investment you know you have to have an investment it's 199 dollars. we know that right how many times we blow 200 dollars, right even $60 a month to maintain our business. A lot of people have a problem with paying. I've heard so many people have a problem with just paying $60 a month to invest in themselves, but we blow it all of the time, right? So I know you see that you're in, you're in the nail care industry. So I know people sit in your chair and they talk about, number one, th this is a time where we are, are talking about all of our troubles, right? So whether we're talking about relationships, whether they, I'm sure you hear them talking about they're fed up with their job, people coming in there on their lunch break to get their nails done, right? or either they're coming into your salon because they're going on vacation, right? So it's a, a lot of things that you're able to encounter, um, but it's amazing how a lot of people don't wanna do anything to change their situation, right? They know what's available, but they don't wanna do anything to change their situation. So I know that you're busy. I know you said before you were trading your time for money. Um, what would you say to the person that's super busy, right? Because what I found even with this business that because our product is travel, it can go with any type of background you have, any lifestyle you have. If you're running other businesses, you can incorporate that because again, you're, you're as a nail tech, how many people sitting in your salon getting ready for vacation, right? So now you can offer them either an opportunity to get paid on that trip that they're getting ready to take, or you can go ahead and book it for them, right? They have options. So talk about though, for those people who think that they're too busy for this business. Oh, well, okay. But well, first of all, when I started this business, if anybody say they're busy, they'll look at me if they know me at all, know that Hawaii is busy. I am that person that will squeeze 20 seconds out of myself, out of the time that I'm having doing something in order to make things happen. So I was starting, you know, I just went through a divorce at that time. So I was a single mom at that time and working at the nail salon i am the family everything like my parents don't speak english shay <laughs> um, so you know i run the whole salon i manage the salon full time i do all their taxes i do my taxes I pay all their bills i pay my bills yes you know we can't barely keep up one bill i got <laughs> two homes that they have plus their business plus i went through a divorce and i said you know what it is my time right? It is my time to do whatever it is that Hawa wants. Aside from always being the wife, always being the good mother, always being the good daughter, always being that good friend, that good sister, I was always there for everybody else, right? Mm -hmm. So I was busy. I started my art career. I even joined a business group that I was meeting once a week. Um, and I started my art career where I was doing live shows. I was doing um, solo exhibitions and, and I would go to work all day. I would go home and I will paint to two in the morning so I can have a show. So at that time, I'm busy. I literally wake up in the morning all the way till midnight to two in the morning. And then I would drive up the weekend so I can show my artwork in Charleston and Greenville. I was everywhere. So. When people say they're too busy, they're just saying I'm too busy for the opportunity because I don't see the value that it has. It's not that they're not too busy because I saw value. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I was too busy. Instead of saying, wow, this will take too much time. I said, oh my gosh, I'm already traveling. I'm already going to places. Why not get paid on what I was doing already, but now I get to do it better because I'm a business owner. And you know, the secrets of the industry, when I saw that slide, I was like, ooh. 
Um, and you know, in every single industry, there are secrets to every single industry. Mm -hmm. I thought I said that you were in health, uh, you were in hair care earlier. What I meant is you in health care. So even in health care, because this is your expertise, there are secrets to what you do in your industry. Mm -hmm. There are secrets to the nail industry, to the spa industry. So when I knew and learned that there were secrets, I was like, man, I never, nobody shared with, with secrets because your consumer, the secret is for you to spend money on travel. Mm -hmm. There's no saving, there's no making. And uh, certainly nobody wants you to have a business because now you're taking business away from them. So when, for me, I saw value, first of all, I want to be an international artist. You know, that was my dream, my passion. I started my art career. I didn't know what that looked like. I didn't, but I say, ooh, one day, what if I go to France? What if I go to Italy? What if I go to Nomura Beach? It didn't matter. Mm -hmm. It had travel. So I thought simply it made sense. So not one second did I say I was too busy. I immediately moved things that was not serving me toward my dreams and my goals and my aspirations of making money, being a family person and all those things that I view was important. I just moved some things aside and then I started learning about my travel business. And what I would tell people is you just too busy thinking that something won't work for you when you really should be busy learning about the industry to perhaps see how it can actually generate you income, give you more freedom because freedom we have to go after. And in order for you to get freedom, you need more money. You need to be able to do the things you love and make money at the same time. That's freedom, right? right? So I said yes without doing the research, like you said, because I said if I were to research, if I were to date someone, <laughs> be able to know them by dating them, mm -hmm. not just on social media or not just texting back and forth. And maybe I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. You find out about the industry, if this business really works, if you're doing it from the inside. Exactly. And that's what I did. I moved some things aside. I did 10% when I first started. So I was super busy. I didn't see all the value. Mm -hmm. I did one stream of income, which is booking travel and earning commissions. Director Simon, I missed the whole second part of the presentation. <laughs> I was like, I did not understand network marketing. I did not understand sharing an opportunity. Mm -hmm. I just knew one thing. Oh yeah, let's book travel mm -hmm. and get commissions. Mm -hmm. So for six months, I was learning my business. And when I started learning, when I opened my back office, when I started training, I said, oh my gosh, I have access to all of these things. So mm -hmm. I started training and learning. I fell in love with the process as I was learning it. Mm -hmm. and so I would say to most people is that they think I must have passion for something before I start. Well, first of all, how are you supposed to have passion for something? You don't even know what it is yet. That's exactly. Mm -hmm. And when we are telling you with this opportunity, what I heard through the presentation was two things. One is you don't have inventory, mm -hmm. right? So I don't have to carry, I'm not trying to sell anything right? It's travel, right? Travel, it's universal. You can be blue and can still travel. You can be a Smurf and travel. <laughs> <laughs> um, second is there's no quota. What that tell me is that I'm not under restriction or time frame to finish a project. I don't have to attend a meeting in order to make money in this business. So immediately those two things stood out to me that, Hey, I can make it work in the cracks and crevices of my life. Um, so I hope that really answered your question is that people are busy doing a lot of things, but just look at the busy that you're doing. Is it bringing you income? Is mm -hmm. it making you smarter? Is it building relationships? Is it making you better? Or are you just busy watching other people make money? <laughs> or are you just busy um thinking of ways to make money when you have an opportunity that says hey it's travel it's eight trillion you can make money on your first day should you so desire so i'm super busy if i can make it work 
And last thing I want to point out is I was someone that never knew how to use a laptop. I was oh, not on social media. <laughs> I used my phone to text, mm -hmm. call friends, but I was not on social media and I didn't have any experience booking travel. When I was booking travel back in the day, I would call the cruise line mm -hmm. and I was like, can you book that for me, please? Mm -hmm. So if I could do it and I became an ambassador with Intella Travel, and now I'm actually training and teaching people how to work from the laptop and their home, anybody can do it. Absolutely. You, you, again, said a mouthful, but so many good points. And I hope you all caught it. Let's go back to about being busy, you guys. Working this business in the crevices of your life. Um, because we have that no inventory that she pointed out. Because we have no quotas. You know, you're able to work this business on your own time. When I started this business, I worked eight to five. I had two other businesses. I have children, right? I have a, I have a husband. I'm a wife. I have to make sure the house is taken care of. And then I had four social organizations that were pulling me here, pulling me there. But I saw the vision in this business. And I knew that if I just put in the work, even if I only dedicated a little bit of my time every single day, that it'll be worth it in the end. I was busy. I was busy as crap. I still am busy, right? But at that time, I was busy and broke a while. And those two words don't go together. I'm, how can you be busy and broke? Like, I can't go to all these organizations, no meetings, and nobody's paying me. You want me to be an hour on your line doing Zooms and all this other stuff, listening to people bicker, and I was not getting paid for it. So if I'm going to be busy, can I be busy and paid? Right? And so that's, the, that's what I saw in this opportunity. And I remember... Um, they joke about it all the time. I used to spend 15 minutes of my business time in the bathroom. That was my time, but I made it work, right? And so now I'm able to live all of the freedoms. I don't have to worry about all of those things before because this business afforded me a life of freedoms that I did not think was possible. So the fact that we have the no inventory, keep that in mind. There's no quotas. You're able to work this business how you so choose. If you're busy, you're busy doing what? Right. So know what exactly it is that you are saying no to, because this is a legacy business. You're leaving so much money on the table. You're traveling anyway. Right. I always see the busy people saying um, they're too busy for this business, but they take more trips than me. Right. They're advertising these properties and you being an ambassador. You know, that's one thing that we talk when we talk about the secrets. We think about how many people right now they don't they saying no to this business opportunity, but they're doing the same things, if not doing it better than we do, because they're at these they're on vacation. They have a whole crew with them. They're taking pictures of the resort. They showing a live. I'm looking at them like, shoot, where are you at? You know, where are you? I want to know where you they're advertising the crap out of these properties. You know, they're taking pictures of their food. They're taking pictures of these drinks. If y'all want to come to Jamaica, make sure you do this. Make sure you do that. Nobody's paying you for that. That, that resort appreciates you wholeheartedly because you just gave them free advertisement. But we don't work for free in this opportunity. And so we truly want to just position you to do, when we say to do the same things that you're doing, that's what we mean. You're on vacation anyway. You're on cruises anyway. You're not alone. You're advertising. Why not get paid for what you're going to do anyway? It's, it's because of that no quotas and that no inventory, again, it's not stopping you. The same amount of time you were going to take for that vacation, it's the same thing here. So that's that's what I love about it. Yeah, let me tell you, let me um, roll it back a little bit because I came in at, in 2019, 2020, the world shut down. And let me tell you what happened during that time, Director Simon. It was a rude awakening for me as a nail technician because our salon was shut down. So was everyone else's salon across the board. Everybody that was a massage therapist, I love getting my massages. So my massage friends, like we're like this, you know, I get massages once a week. They were not touching anybody for a living. All the salons were shut down. Cosmetologists, everybody done. Right. And we didn't know at that time when we would be able to actually touch clients again to make income. Nobody was really traveling at that time. But I have this travel business. It never, never once did I say, oh, my gosh, I'm in the right. I'm in the wrong time. This business, uh, I did not make a good business move because what I realized at that time, why everything stopped at the nail salon, I was not touching people. 
everything that had to do with our business of travel, my internet was still working, my laptop, I was able to still book travel for essential workers during the pandemic. I was still getting paid by our marketing, be, being a marketing professional because I started building my team at that time and I was still getting paid for my travel commissions because some people were still traveling and even the cruise lines um, stopped. What got more popular? U.S. travel. I was booking people, they were going on all these adventures across the U.S. I was booking that travel mm -hmm. and like you, I was traveling myself. Mm -hmm. and People who were traveling, if you travel during the pandemic, put in the chat that you traveled. And when you were traveling, did you not see other people traveling? And because so, you still have, like you said, you still have to travel. Those essential workers, those traveling nurses, they're yeah. still staying in hotels. They still have to get on the plane. So even though they think people are not traveling, travel runs the world. Everything runs airplane, trains, automobiles. You have to get there. I don't eat domestic, international it's still going to happen right and we knew it wasn't going to shut down for too long because listen a lot of countries they thrive off of tourism otherwise they were going to be shut down right so it was only going to be for a little bit and so that's when you started seeing them putting those extreme measures in place we were still outside i was still i still did the same amount of travel and i think i did more because it was cheaper <laughs> it was cheaper it was cheaper i'm like wait a minute 99 dollars to go to cancun okay i'm gone i'm out right and they were actually safer than we were here in the us right but everything i tell people travel runs the world it's not an eight trillion dollar industry by mistake listen even the deceased and that's a touchy subject but they still have to travel because somebody's transporting those bodies and guess what when people are flying in from out of town to come to these funerals that's still travel they're staying in hotels right to pay their respects and it's all travel travel runs the world absolutely love it this is the best industry ever it is and you know it's funny that you said um coincidental that you said funeral i in fact went to a funeral earlier today i went to a funeral today mm -hmm. and actually they were my client well he was my client and i booked his travel and thankfully i got to be a part of his memories that he was able to create with his wife prior to, prior to his passing this week. So I went and paid for my respects. The whole uh, funeral home was filled with friends, family from all over. Yes, they flew in. Yes, they drove in to the event and we can't survive without travel. Um, but I just like to point that out because I actually got the opportunity to book his travels. I sent him and his wife on a cruise to Alaska, right sort of after the pandemic, when the pandemic was still going, he loved travel. I sent him and his wife to Hawaii, you know, uh, and, and, and people like that is the reason why I love what I do because people are busy, you know, and I get to send people on dream destinations. Not only that, because I know how hard it is to make that buck. Right. I know how hard it is for 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 me being a single mom at one point, it was a struggle. And to know that I can help moms, single moms, stay at home moms now to not have to get that first job, second job, leaving their families and their kids. I have a business partner out of North Carolina, Shay. I was able to help her start the business. She and I never met in person, but was online. But God aligned she and I um, through this opportunity but she has a son who needs medical care and she has to take him back and forth due to health reasons. And she had to not work full time to take care of her son. Mm -hmm. But because of the opportunity I've been able to share, help her to make additional streams of income from home. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so that is just one story. How about all the other people who need the second source, third source, but they, they can't pay for another degree they can't afford it or they just are exhausted. They've already worked six days a week, but they're still barely getting by, right? Mm -hmm. And now they got to get a second job working a night shift. Now they, ne they can't see their kids. And I'm saying through this opportunity, that's why it's so important for me and why I won't stay quiet, why I'm proud like you, proud of the industry and why I'm adamant with reaching out to the audience to my friends that I view as people like, listen, 
if you would just give this an opportunity, you can actually make an extra 500, 300 even, 200 a week, a month, whatever you want, a thousand without ever leaving your home. Mm -hmm. And to know that you are now a six figure income earner because of this opportunity, mm -hmm. it's like incredi incredible to me because I know friends that have two, three, four degrees and they're barely making $55,000 a year. Yeah. And they work harder than me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's, that's what I looked at. And, and I just keep it. I often say that. And, and like I said, sometimes I look in, at the six figures and I'm like, is this really real? Because I, you know, if I would have remained comfortable in my position, I would still be there. I was prepared to work for the state of Virginia for 40 years um, or to for 20 years to retire. Right. And still not make six figures. So what would have taken, well, it wasn't going to take me 20 years. It was going to take me never because six figures was not ever going to happen for me in my profession. It just was never going to happen. Um, but two and a half years in this opportunity, trusting me, believing in myself and doing the work um, and just sharing with this opportunity can do for other people, educating other people and having the support of this culture of this business and the background and the teachings and the leadership in this business, two years, six figures, it can happen for anyone. And then for someone else that I helped in the business to come behind me and do the exact same thing. So now I know that I wasn't just a, a, a pick out the bucket, like it can happen for other people. So I know that it can happen. So like I said, it, it's amazing tuition, just like you said, the lives that you've helped, whether they can just pay extra daycare, whether they can pay their car note, just being able to have extra income, whether that looks like 200, 500 or a thousand dollars, this business can do it for you. So I love that. And the last thing I want to talk about is the legacy piece. And I know that the legacy has to be special for you with your background and everything. Um, this business, when you become a director, allows you to leave income, to have income that's going to extend beyond your grave. I think that is more important than anything. Yes, we book travel. We love it. We can earn money from it. Um, yes, we can help other people. We can build a team if we so choose and earn money from it. But the fact is that our founder has a pledge in place that if everything that we've built here, all of the hard work that we do here, if something happens to us today or tomorrow, it's going to keep coming. The checks are going to keep coming. How do you feel about that legacy, Hua? Especially for you and your family. Yeah, especially for my, my family, that's something like that was never something that I, I ever imagined. First of all, being a nail technician, I did not have an IRA or some kind of retirement in place like most people with a you know, W-2 um, you know, um, style of making money, like how people are making money with their companies. So even in my industry, being a nail technician, we didn't have any kind of retirement set in place until I got older and I was surrounded by other business people that were talking about investing in IRA for my retirement. So I did not even start my IRA until I was 40. And when I was married, my ex-husband had a job where, you know, he had a life insurance in place. But guess what happened when you go through a divorce? Like everyone, if you are in a relationship and you went through a divorce, put in the chat that you went through something. And when something is pulled from under you, you are left with absolutely nothing. And for my case, I was left in the negative. So I had no retirement. I had no life insurance and and, and then toward the end of my relationship with my ex-husband, I got pregnant with our second child. So I have two kids, newly divorced, right? With a brand new baby, nothing to show for, nothing to show for. And then this business opportunity presented itself and I did not do any research. I got into it, learned that there is this legacy piece, learned that if I would find people just like myself who is hoping, praying for an opportunity or who just want to travel more for less or who just have a desire to actually be a business owner, right? And just share them the opportunity, allow them the opportunity to say yes or no, or maybe later. I just started just opening my mouth because I believe in this opportunity. And during the pandemic, I became a director. And within 18 months, I was able to secure a legacy 
a life insurance piece that I didn't have to die in order to start earning the income. I yeah. get to it when I'm still living, earning that director bonus on the first, earning that residual income on the 10th and knowing if something were to happen to me that both of my children will be taken care of and the money that I've built in such a short period of time will continue to pay them, which I have worked 22 years of my life and never experienced a piece of anything. The mm -hmm. only time I got tips was when I worked for it. And then maybe once in a while around Christmas, my client cared about me and they're like, hey, well, I'm gonna <laughs> give you extra $20. But it didn't come back over and over and earning that residual income, which is doing something one time, but getting paid month after month after years later, it's an amazing concept. And so that pledge meant everything to me mm -hmm. because I was still a single mom. You know, I knew that if something were to happen, my family, they're not financially in the place to take care of my kids. No one is. So mm -hmm. I, I said, if, if it's going to be, it's up to me. And so I knew that if I put my head down, learn the business, master it, become a professional, surround myself with people like you and keep learning, keep doing the right things, the right things will happen. And that's exactly what happened to me. And now my next goal is to get the Sapphire ring just like you, because not only is it just a Sapphire ring, what's significant is knowing that I can leave six figures to my two children. Absolutely. That's what we're talking about. And we just don't want you to miss it. If you're watching this, if you're seeing this, we don't want you to miss it because that it was never an option. That was never on the table for me. And I have a degree, so what, right? What is the degree gonna do for you? If it's not, why are we going to school in the first place? So we can have a good job mm -hmm. and take care of our families, correct? Correct. Right. So whether you have a degree or no degree, this opportunity is for everyone. And if you work hard with the, the culture over here, I've seen people without degrees making as much as people with degrees in our business. And it's just incredible. I love that we're able to get that opportunity, opportunity equally across yeah. the board. It doesn't matter your background, it doesn't matter your color, it doesn't matter if you had a past, mm -hmm. right? There are people that I've seen in our industry that are three, four star directors that have gone through things yes. in corporate America, they'll never be hired. They'll exactly. never be given an opportunity. But over here, wow. We're creating our own economy. So back yeah. to you. Awesome. Awesome. Listen, you said it all. We've touched on everything and I absolutely love it. Again, you guys, as she stated, this is what we're doing. We're simply using our platform, telling the world about it, because this is something that we don't need to be quiet about. We simply want to put you in position to earn whatever it is that you want to earn. This is one thing about this business. You can simply earn whatever it is. If you want to come in and go after that legacy, so be it but there's no restrictions, there's no cap. It's an unlimited income opportunity that our founder has given for ordinary people, just like myself, to be able to make extraordinary income like so many people again. Um, Hawa, I appreciate you for coming in and talking with our listeners. Listen, if Hawa said if she can do it, you can do it from the lady who again came over here not being able to speak english from the young woman who don't know how to use a laptop and don't know anything about social media now she out here teaching people like the guru that she is listen if she can do it <laughs> if she can do it you can do it it's no excuses we don't have any excuses we show you the blueprint we truly show you the blueprint um, for you to be as successful as you want to be so hawa i appreciate you tonight for just jumping on really quick and talking to the people on our platform. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for being you and always being incredibly sincere and open and sharing your story and always, you know, showing up for yourself, but showing up for your team and showing up for our, you know, the people uh, within our companies. I appreciate you so much. And the last thing I want to just tell everyone that's listening and watching is that uh, the opportunity of a lifetime is there 
just once in a lifetime. Sometimes you can wait too long and you can't go back to that opportunity. And if you do, it's no longer the same opportunity. So the opportunity to do something, to make a life for yourself, to make that change and to grab onto something uh, is now. And don't ever think is this or that, think this and that. Because the fact of the matter is every single industry, whether you're in real estate, whether you are in insurance, whether you, you know, are in merchant services, are you a landscaper, are you a nail technician, uh, healthcare, whether you are a doctor, a dentist, it doesn't matter what which field that you are in, guess what? You still have to travel to conferences. You still have to travel for your family. You travel for leisure. You travel for your families. Um, so at the end of the day, travel is what ties everything together. So if there's a way for you to earn income in the process of using the product that you are going to use anyway, it is going to be the smartest investment that you will ever make in your life. So come in, learn from the inside and use it. Take advantage of all there is to offer. It's a $199.90 investment. What you would spend on a good weekend out with somebody else with two drinks, right? That <laughs> doesn't even include tips. And, <laughs> and you can never yield income with a $2 a day investment. Uh, a bag of chips now is $2.75. Okay, Director Simon, so <laughs> put $2 a day, just think of what it can yield you. It's not a bill, it's an investment to create the future for your life. And so that's what I want to end it with. And thank you again for having me. No problem. So again, if you're catching this on the repeat, on the replay, put hashtag replay. Listen, get back with the person who has a, listen, somebody's come to you with this opportunity, whether it was me, whether it was Hawa, whoever it is, you know, just uh, listen, take a listen to this information. If you're on my platform, we're getting ready to roll into a session at 8 p.m. You are definitely more than welcome to send me a message. Tell me to send you the link and come and just hear what we are so excited, what we are so passionate about. Um, we don't want you to miss this opportunity. So again, um, Hawaii, I appreciate you and we're going to go ahead and end it here. Okay. You have an amazing, amazing night. Thank you so much.